Friends of Privateer FX, European Open, coming at you March 20th. We got what we wanted yesterday in cable. Went all the way up to 140.88 after the long battle to break 140. The risk over the next coming days is cable goes right back down. Um, we got CPI out today, so this will be uh, this will be a mover. Be careful, 10.30 Central European Time. Watch out for CPI. There will be risk below 139.88. Might not be a bad place to enter into shorts, actually, uh, if we get a really low CPI. A lot of good news is baked into this break transition deal, but I don't know. Brexit's not looking too good from my perspective. Uh, and faith in uh, London and faith in the UK uh, globally seems to be waning a bit. So it seems a little bit odd how the market's getting all bulled up on cable here. Keep in mind also tomorrow we have FOMC where the US is going to raise rates. On another note, we got dollar Swiss here. We talked about it yesterday. We're going to follow up on it today. 95.50. We will be entering into longs. Uh, we like this for a move up to 96.62, which is a 200 day. So between 40 and 55, we'll be getting long. We will not be trying to buy low ones today. We'll be, we'll be buying high ones. So and that's the plan for today. The other technical setup is Kiwi. A lot of people are talking about it. You have a little trend line here, one, two, three. You've got the 200 day here, 7183. And you have basically a risk off, or I would say a risk off combined with an anti China sentiment. News flow is anti China today. With Trump bullshitting about, let's uh, all pile in and screw over China. This will be bad for Aussie and Kiwi. The entry is a little tricky. Uh, I'm imagining that it's probably going to be below yesterday's low, 71.96, but it could be through the figure, 72 the figure. Just going to have to see what's going on and then try and time it based on correlations with Aussie, Kiwi, and risk appetite. Speaking of risk appetite, uh, as everybody knows, Facebook got smoked yesterday, which was a whole lot of fun. Um, today, we're back 27.27. This, I don't know, I'd be careful selling it right on the open here. If you're going to sell, you want to probably wait for 40 this does have a little bit of a trap feel to it now. Uh, we are square risk. We took profit on our Netflix and Facebook and Tesla and we didn't have S&Ps on. We still have options for May on the S&Ps. We don't have any we don't have any futures on. This just feels a little bit obvious here uh, and I'm much more comfortable getting short through yesterday's lows. 26.97 and a quarter than I am trying to fade this because uh, 27.55 looks just an, an obvious stop going into an event FOMC tomorrow be careful be careful if you're going to maybe fade this 27.33 to 37 your stop really has to be above 28.04 and then if you're going to put your stop up there the risk reward is screwed so you kind of just have to skip it. But anyway, yesterday was fun. It's always fun to see Facebook get face planted. Um, so that was good. I mean, I wish no ill will uh, to people who work for Facebook and whatnot. Uh, but I have some philosophical problems with the company uh, and the product that they provide. So it's just nice when it when it goes down in sort of like haughty way. Moving on. Uh, dollars are today. We have a um, statement of accounts actually in uh, 90 minutes time. Not quite sure what to do with the czar here. 
obviously very similar to the S&P bar, but upside down. Not sure. Looks like it could turn lower, but as long as it stays above 12, I don't know. But as we said yesterday, we, we, we were looking for a close above 12.03, 12.03.50. We did not get it. So we're square again, waiting for more of a perfect setup. Uh, and similar to the S&P bar, we are much more comfortable getting long this again through the highs. Which were 12.10.86 yesterday. And then we are trying to fade this, because this looks like it might it might turn. Anyway, what else is out there? Not too much sterling CPI we talked about. Euro dollar in general. It's a pretty bullish bar that we printed a lower low, 58, and then we closed close to a lower uh, a higher high. It's very, very close to bear, uh, bullish engulfing here. The reason it's not as powerful because it's bullish engulfing within the range. Uh, and the trade here is probably this this line here. You know, we have this big long pennant now, and you can take the top side and do the same. Uh, so no trade right now in in, uh, in euro dollar. We're, we're basically waiting, <laughs> waiting for FOMC. But this will be the this will be the defining pennant or wedge or whatever you want to call it. Um, take a bit more time to draw that yourself. See where you feel like you're going to get in and get out of this. But below below 122.60 is important and. Somewhere above 124, the figure is going to be important. But let's wait for FOMC, right? All right, that's about it. Uh, CPI out of the uh, United Kingdom today is, is the big focus. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.